Hi, Dr. Tyson Suizo at Tower Clock Eye Center. Why don't you just continue the discussion with the light adjustable lens? Uh, so once we get the lens in position at the time of surgery, and that sits right within what's called the lens capsule, we can then begin to think about adjusting that lens implant. So I always start by seeing the patients in the office and checking uh, for any residual prescription. And we can fine tune and dial in how the patient sees. So rather than making up any difference or error, so to speak, with a pair of glasses, we can actually then go ahead and type that into the computer here. And with exposure to uh, wavelength of light, we can adjust that and change how the patient, patient sees and change how the lens behaves inside the eye. The light adjustable lens is made of silicone and the silicone macromers will actually change position and change the shape of the lens when exposed to the light. We go through uh, at least three adjustments and two of those are to lock in the prescription. So for a period of time, the patients will wear protective glasses to help decrease ultraviolet light exposure. Uh, the lens itself though it does come with active shield. An active shield allows for protection of that lens so incidental light from the environment doesn't accidentally pre-lock uh, in the lens so we end up with the wrong prescription of the lens. So a lot of safeguards with this new technology and that's one thing that has prompted us to now implement that into our practice. I've been able to treat a few patients with this and I've been very impressed with the outcomes, both from the patient perspective and frankly with what I'm seeing. And it's really nice when those two things align and typically we get happy patients and a very, very nice surgical result with that. So I look forward to sharing more as we continue to develop this technology here at Tower Clock Eye Center.